Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Today we're going to be discussing the microcannula and all of its benefits. But first, if you like this type of information, remember to click subscribe and hit the bell to be alerted to future videos. When we're dealing with dermal filler injections, the needles that are supplied with each kit are usually very sharp needles. They might be thin, 26 gauge, 27 gauge, 30 gauge, but they're pointed and the medication comes out of the tip. When we're dealing with the microcannula, we're talking about a blunt needle and the medication comes out of the side of the needle. The benefits of using a microcannula are less bleeding, less bruising, and more importantly, the risk of getting into an artery and causing an arterial occlusion are significantly lower. But we have to be aware of what size microcannula we're using. My favorite is this 22 gauge, two inch Dermasculpt microcannula by Cosmo France. Now you might be thinking 22 gauge, that's enormous. Well, the reason I use the 22 gauge for the majority of my dermal fillers is because it is significantly less likely to pierce an artery. You can still pierce an artery with a thinner gauged microcannula, such as this, the 30 gauge one inch. Now, I might use this if I'm going to be doing some very fine work, such as in the uh, tear trough, but the 30 gauge can puncture an artery and you can still get an arterial occlusion using the thinner needles. Now I have two dermal filler syringes, one with the needle that's supplied and one with my 22 gauge blunt needle. Now let's see them close up. When we look at the needles that are supplied with the dermal fillers, they're very sharp, they're pointed and the medication comes out the tip. Compared to the blunt cannula, we look at the blunt cannula, we notice that it cannot pierce the skin. It could pierce my glove if I wanted to do it, but it doesn't pierce the skin very easily. In fact, you have to make a little puncture to get it in. And the medication comes out of that little hole right there on the side. One thing with the microcannulas is they tend to be flexible. Therefore, once you've made your puncture and you've inserted it into the dermis or the sub-Q tissue, whichever you had preferred, it's important to palpate the tip to see exactly where that tip is located because if they did hit a structure, they do have a tendency to turn and bend. So now you can understand why I use these blunt microcannulas for all of my dermal filler injections. The only times I might not is if I want some more accuracy when filling the deep fat layer of a cheek. Take care, have a good day. I hope you learned something with this video and enjoy the cannulas.